Hello everyone, it's Jen, Scrapina Creations. I'm so excited to be doing a collaboration with my friend Christy Marcotte. We're bringing you 50 cards together using the Doodlebug 6x6 paper pad called Hey Cupcake, and it is so cute with all these adorable little designs. This is my favorite paper here with the kitties and the balloons. I'm also going to be using the stamp set, which I'll show you here in a second. This one is the Party Animal Girl stamp. There's another stamp with some of the characters. And I'm also going to use the mini icon stickers, which you can see there on my mat. The fun thing is that Christy used the paper pad, but she also used the regular sized icon stickers. So you'll get to see lots of different cards using various products from the collection, which will all be linked down below in case you're interested in playing along and creating cards using this adorable Doodlebug collection. So as always, I'm going to jump in with some coloring. If you're new to my channel, coming over from Christie's channel, welcome. Uh, I do a lot of alcohol marker coloring. Today I'm using my Copic markers and I always have the caps to the left hand side of the screen and the darkest marker is always to the top and then working my way down to the lightest marker there on the bottom. So I'm starting out coloring with the darkest marker and then I'll work my way through my midtones down to the lightest color. I'm just going to use uh, some of the images from the stamp set just to show you some of the color combinations that I used. For my llama, I want him or her to be a white color. I'm using my warm gray, so my darkest is the W5 where I'm laying in the majority of my shadows. And then I have the W3 as my darkest midtone, the W1 as my lightest midtone, and then the W00 is my lightest marker and I'll use that to blend out all the colors. You can see here I'm adding the darkest shadows around the edges of my llama as well as underneath the blanket and the little neck accessory that he has on. I'm bringing in my R20 marker for the cheeks and inside the ears and then our little llama is colored. I'm going to do all of the little critters first and then I'll come back with the brighter colors so I'll finish his blanket here in a second. So for my kitty, I want a black kitty. I have two black rescue cats, Lila and Piper, so it's very common to see me color a black kitty. I'm using a three color combination, W9, W7, and W5. Moving on to the hedgehog, I'm going to color the body darker than the face. I'm using E27, E25, and E23. I'm just having my shadows on his legs and on his underbelly and then to the side of his face, blending that out with the midtone with the lightest color towards the top. For the face and ears, I'm using E34, E53, and E51. Again, the darkest markers closest to his body and lighter towards the nose. So for the yellow color combination that I use for the cards, I'm using Y15, Y02, and Y11. And here I have the pinks. I'm using R83, R81, RV11. I'll show you a picture here after I'm done the coloring of all the images I colored up, and you'll see how I use them on the various stamped images from the stamp set. So I'm just going to color up the balloon here. I wanted the darkest areas to be on either side so that the object looked round. Having that highlight in the middle will trick the eye into thinking um, that it is more rounded than how it looks kind of on the paper. So for the blues, I'm using BG45, BG01, and then B triple zero. This is a really pretty light blue color combination. For the present, I just added the darkest color to the bottom and as well as the bottom of the lid of the box and then moving through from my midtone, pulling that color up more and then just leaving the top area of the box and the lid for that lightest marker. Now the green color combination that I'm using is YG03, 
YG01 and then G20. I'm just going to color up this little bird, but I do use various combinations of these colors for the presents. And like I said here, you'll see in a second everything I colored up. I'm just adding some black glaze pen to the eyes and the nose, and then I can go ahead and add a highlight to the balloon. And I fussy cut out all these images. I didn't even use my brother's scan and cut. I just cut them out while I was watching TV one night. So you can see I colored the llamas and the kitties all different colors. And then here's a look at all the other little presents and party hats. There's a little cupcake in the stamp set. And here's another look at the sticker icons that I have to work with as well. So now that I've shown you all that, let's jump into the card making. Here is card number one of 16 that I will be sharing with you. So I've gone ahead, I've cut everything out, and I've designed my layouts. For some of them, I will be using sketches, and I will have them in the screen so you can see how the sketches inspired some of my designs. For this card, I'm just using the really adorable llama paper with the balloons. I cut out a stitched oval here for my focal panel. And then I cut out some of the smaller pieces of pattern paper here for a strip along the bottom. This is a piece of the green pattern paper that has the different candies on them. And I'm going to use that at the bottom to lay sort of a background to my sentiment. So I went ahead and stamped out the sentiment onto some white cardstock and it says have a amazing birthday, which is really cute. I haven't seen that pun or play on words for a sentiment with a llama card yet, or a llama stamp, I mean. So for this one, I'm going to stack the kitty on some presents onto the back of the llama. And I think this looks super cute. So with the presents, they stamp out uh, separately from the little ribbon that you can also add. And I will show you where uh, on another card that I actually stamped the ribbon on some of the boxes and use that on the cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this first long present on top of the llama. The shorter square one will go on top of that and then the little kitty. I do want to place two of the balloons behind the cat. So I want to get those down and in place before I actually adhere the kitty to my card. And I'm using Art Glitter Glue which I've been using for almost a year now I think and it is my favorite liquid adhesive. So if you're in the market for one, I highly recommend this. And again, it will be listed uh, in the description box below with all of the other products that I use in the video today. So there's also these cute little party hats in the stamp set. So I colored them up in a bunch of different colors there using those same four color combinations. There's also orange in this collection, but Orange is not my favorite color. In fact, it is my least favorite color. So I stuck to the blue, pink, yellow, and green for all of my accessories. So I just have to add the gel pens here to these images. I forgot to add the eyes and the nose to some of my little critters. And then with the white gel pen, I'm adding some polka dots to the presents as well, just to give them a little bit of added interest. I felt like there needed to be something in that top left-hand space there. I felt like the card was a bit unbalanced. So I'm going to use the little envelope and this cute little bird from the stamp set, and I think that finishes off the first card nicely. Moving on to card number two, I wanted to focus on the little hedgehog. I'm using this stamp set called Yum Yum Cupcake by CC Designs. For some of these cards, I didn't want to make them in a birthday theme, so I wanted to show you that although this pattern paper is designed for mostly birthdays, there are lots of ways that you can use this collection that doesn't relate to birthdays. So I do bring in some other stamps for additional sentiments 
just so I didn't have 16 birthday cards using this collection. So I went ahead and cut a piece of blue cardstock with a die, also a piece of white cardstock, and I just used some spun sugar distress oxide ink with my blending brush there to add a little bit of pink behind my hedgehog. And he's holding the cute little cupcake. So for this design, I cut the pink pattern paper with a scallop border. This one happens to be from Lawn Fawn. And then I went ahead and stamped my sentiment onto some yellow cardstock. And it just reads, you're as sweet, you're as, sweet as a cupcake. So perfect for an any occasion card. And in the end, if I wanted to use it for a birthday, I could just stamp happy birthday in the inside of the card. I am going to pop my focal panel here, this little circle die cut on some fun foam. I have some fun foam that has adhesive already on one side, which makes it super easy. And that is card number two complete. So moving on to card number three. Here is an example of where I stamped the ribbon on to the presents. So you can get really different looks from the same images in the stamp set, which I really like. So I just added some blue cardstock for the background of this card. I am using a sketch here. You may recognize the writing on this sketch. This is one that Christy herself figured out the dimensions for. I love that she includes those on her blog for us all to use. She really inspires me with her ability to use up her paper pads and to really use sketches in ways that I just don't have the eye for. I love watching her take sketches and different pattern paper collections and use them to create some really beautiful cards. So always inspired by her and you will see a couple more of her sketches, I believe, that she has figured out the measurements in this video. So for this one, I used the party hat paper and I also cut the fishtail banner out of the pattern paper that has happy birthday repeated on it in the different colors. I really liked that pattern paper. And then I stamped happy birthday on to that blue cardstock fishtail banner that I cut out as well. And I believe that sentiment is from Lawn Fawn, a bug deal stamp. So I'm just adding those presents, changing the way the ribbons are facing, alternating from left to right, and then added my little hedgehog to the top, added a party hat to him. And now I'm just going to figure out placement here of where I want this panel to be. I did end up, I believe, cutting these stitched rectangles for my focal panel a bit bigger than the dimensions on the card sketch that Christy laid out. Sometimes I just use what I have, and if the dies that I have don't match the dimensions perfectly, that's okay. I use sketches for inspiration and tweak them as necessary. So there's the final placement for that card. I'm just going to add some polka dots here onto the presents. I feel like this just gives them a little bit of something extra just to step them up a notch with the coloring. So I really like that look. Oh yes, and here's where I show you the stamp set. It is Lawn Fawn, a bug deal. I just wanted a bigger sentiment for the stamp than what comes in the, or for that card than what comes in the stamp set. So moving right along to card number four, this was one of my favorite cards. I love this pattern paper. Like I mentioned, it was my favorite one in the collection. So I'm using this card sketch here. I rounded the corners of both my card panel and the pattern paper. And this pink sprinkled paper was one of my favorites as well. So I'm using most of the design from the sketch for this card. I'm not going to include the star. I'm just going to have my 
images here on that white piece of cardstock. I also stamped out the sentiment for that card already on the white cardstock. It reads, wishing you a perfect day, which is really cute. So I'm going to have three balloons here behind the kitties. I wanted to cut off the tail of the pink balloon so that I could have it uh, coming down a little bit further. Otherwise it wouldn't have reached the cat and it would have looked a little bit out of proportion. So you can see here I am going to add it back in. I'm just going to tuck it under that blue balloon. I love the fine metal tip applicator on the art glitter glue. It makes it super easy to put some liquid adhesive on the littlest areas of your images. So I'm just going to get that green balloon in place and then I can go ahead and adhere my little kitty. So this kitty I colored white with black stripes. I love the white on this card. I'm very partial to clean and simple cards. I love a lot of white space. So it's probably why I like this card so much. So just going to add a party hat to the cat and then I'm going to add a couple pieces of just extra cardstock there under the kitty just so that it, there's no dips in the image because there was a bit of elevation with those balloon strings. Moving on to card number five, I had a little piece of that pattern paper left over from the previous card with the cats and the balloons. So I'm going to go ahead and use it as a fishtail banner on this card. So I did cut out the pink uh, sprinkle paper using a scalloped rectangle die. That die is from MFT, their blueprints. I think it's blueprints 29 that I have. It's an older one, but I love it and use it all the time. I cut out a circle, a stitch circle here of white cardstock and I stamped wishing you a perfect day on that again. And then I'm just going to back it on some bright blue cardstock and that will be the focal panel for my images. So I'm using this cute little kitty in the present and I'm going to add the little birdie to the bottom left hand side of that as well. I just wanted to bring in a little bit more of that yellow from the pattern paper. Decided to add three little stickers here from the sticker pack. So for the first few cards I'm going to use colored images and then for the remaining I'll show you some examples using the mini icon stickers. Moving on to card number six, I'm going to use a bunch of the little critters. Here's another example of a card that I put together that does not relate to birthdays at all. I did not line out my pattern paper on my card panel here, so I did need to carefully peel that back up and get it back in place. I'm using a stitched border out of some blue cardstock to line this banner with the pink pattern paper. So again, just using those leftover pieces from previous cards. And I will adhere this to the mostly close to the middle of the card. And then I'm using these new uh, dies from Sunny Studio. And these are called, oh, I didn't write it down. They, I'll have them listed below. Uh, they're the new, hmm, I can't even guess. I, well, actually I have them here. Um, they're called the Stitched Arch Dies. And I really like these. Is they're my first time using them. It just gives me something a little bit different to play with so that all of my cards don't look the same. So I'm really liking these. And I used the largest one to cut out the sprinkle pattern paper. And then I think the mid-sized uh, die for the white cardstock that I'm going to use as the focal panel for my images. I'm going to stack my little critters here, one on top of the other. So I'm just adding the hedgehog on top of the llama, the kitty on top of the hedgehog, and then the little birdie on top of the kitty. And I'm going to bring in just the word hello to stamp as the sentiment. 
and that is from Happy Doodle. So this is just a great anytime card. It, you can't tell from the pattern paper that it comes from a birthday collection. So I'm just going to adhere this down on to my pink arched, what did I call it? The stitched arch. And I did pop that pink one up on some foam tape as well, just to give it a little bit of dimension. Not foam tape, sorry, fun foam. I like using fun foam because it's a little bit thinner and easier to mail. So for the next card, another kitty themed card. I was, uh, I'm partial to cats. I love making cat cards. That's probably why I really liked this stamp set. So I'm going to use all three of the little cat images here for this card. And these are another new uh, die that I picked up from Sunny Studios release. And these are called the Stitched Semicircles. So these are really fun as well. And I like the look they give. So I cut one out of the white pattern paper with all the little confetti print. And then I'm just going to arrange my little kitties. I'm going to have the black cat holding the balloon. First I want to get the cat in the present, which is my centered image down first. That will help ensure that I get a good placement that is mostly centered on the card. So I'm going to add some liquid adhesive behind the cat's paws so it's holding the balloon. And then I'm going to have the little brown kitty to the right hand side and I'm going to tuck a present behind the black kitty in front of the little gift box with the cat in it. I'm also going to use one of the cupcakes just to add a little bit of interest in front of that gift box. I'll add two party hats to the cats that don't have a lid on their head and that will complete the design for this card. So I stamped out the wishing you a perfect day again. I did mask it so that I could have it on a single horizontal line. So changing up the way you stamp out the sentiments can also give you more looks for your stamps in a single stamp set. So there's that cutie patootie card. And now we're going to move on to some cards with the stickers. So I'm using a sketch here for card number eight. Again, I cut some blue cardstock uh, with a scallop border die. All of the scallop borders are in the same Lawn Fawn set. And then I'm just going to add a piece of that blue cardstock so, card so it's peeking out of the top of this pink pattern paper as well. I thought this balloon paper was so fun. So I'm going to have that as the main background for this card. I love the look of the stars and the hearts for the balloons as well as the circular ones. I did cut out a stitched scallop die here with some white cardstock and then a circle for my focal panel and I'm going to use the little girl with the balloon in her hands. I really love this collection because Doodlebug is featuring little images with a lot of diversity so it's really nice to see that companies are including the human rainbow in their collections. I wanted to add a few more balloons to her pile here, so I'm adding the pink heart balloon and the blue star. Again, cutting off that string for the balloon at the back just so that I can have it um, reaching her hand so proportionally it looks right. And I'm just going to add her to the center of my focal panel here. So I will add this to the left hand side of the card just as it is in the sketch. Instead of the flower, I'm going to use this heart. This is a stitched heart die from Happy Doodle. 
but instead of having it to the left hand side I'm actually going to put it on the right. When I adhere down the scalloped focal panel I didn't quite leave enough space to the left for that heart to look right. I also wanted to fill in some of that white space or in this case blue space in between the girl holding the balloons and the sentiment. So you can see here I'm fiddling around with placement. I stamped the sentiment, it's your birthday. This comes in the Doodlebug stamp set. And just trying to decide where I want that heart cut out to be. So now that I have my placement figured out, I can go ahead and adhere these on to the card. I'd love to know if you are a fan of the Doodlebug collections. I'm super excited for their new release. I love the new uh, baby line that they have out. They have one for boys and girls, and I'm hoping there's some gender neutral papers in those collections. And also, I'm really looking forward to the one called Barbie Cute. So stay tuned for some videos using those collections. So moving on to card number nine. This is a really simple card, but I love it. The ice cream pattern paper was so pretty with the pinks and the browns. And then that kind of off white color. So I'm just, I, I don't know, I didn't cut my card panel straight. So I just need to trim that up. And then I went ahead and cut a stitched heart out of some cream colored cardstock. I added some fun foam to the back of that, just using up some scraps that I have. And I'm going to center that to the top portion of the card. And I stamped out the sentiment, sweet friend, and I will show you that stamp here. Added some fun foam to the back of that that's going to hang off, and then I can just add some liquid adhesive to the part that will be over the heart and then I'm just going to add the two little ice cream cones that come in the mini icon. So here's the stamp set. It's the More Classic Sentiments by Heffy Doodle. So we're on to card number 10 and of course I needed to use the little kitty with the balloons. I had one little piece of that pattern paper left over. Uh, there are two of the same patterns in the collection, but I kept the other one so I could recreate um, the cards that I made and showed you here. So I will end up going back and making two of each of the cards with that one pattern paper. So I think that will give me another three cards. So for this one, I'm using the leftover paper that I have that reads happy birthday multiple times. I'm gonna use that to the top. And then the rainbow stripes on the bottom. And just where those two pieces meet, I'm going to put the little kitties with her balloons there. Again, using a stitched heart die cut here with some of the orange pattern paper from the collection. And I will center that. I'm just going to add a little bit of white cardstock to where the heart um, is on the top part of the card because it's not as level as the bottom. A trick I learned from Christy as well. I get so much inspiration and tips from her videos. So I stamped out the wishing you a perfect day again on some white cardstock and just cut that out with a fishtail banner die. And I'm going to have that snugly behind my little kitty, adding a couple layers of some scrap cardstock there so my banner is nice and level, and then a little birdie on top of the sentiment. For the next card, card number 11, I'm featuring the llama sticker with the little kitty on top. So I wanted to use some of the blue pattern, not pattern, blue cardstock that I'm using for these cards and I just added that on top of some white cardstock. But I wanted to add a little bit of interest so I grabbed out my polka dot embossing folder. And I really like the look that gives. I think it goes perfectly with this paper collection. 
So I'm going to use this leftover piece of the llama pattern paper that I had from the previous card with that paper. And I'm going to add that down the left hand side of my card. I cut out a few pieces of the pattern paper with some stitched circles in various sizes and I'm going to use those for added interest on my card. So the largest one will have my sticker on it. I thought about adding this little present but it just there wasn't enough room to have it so I left it off. And then I'm going to have this smaller circle to the top right and the bottom one with my sentiment have an amazing birthday to the bottom here. And I really like how this card turned out. You'll notice I am adding my stamp block just to make sure those various pieces are nice and adhered down. Card number 12. We're getting near the end if you've been with me this long. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the card. So for card number 12, I'm using a sketch and this one again has Christie's dimensions on it. So I went ahead and cut the back pattern paper with a stitched uh, rectangle die. Actually, I might have just cut that uh, with my trimmer so it has no stitch detailing. That pat that pattern paper is really fun with all the different little images on it. I used that green pattern paper with all the sweets for that horizontal strip that's going across the bottom one third of my card. And then a little scrap of the pink paper for underneath and I did have that bigger than the dimensions on the sketch. Gonna add a couple stickers here, the little cake sticker and the kitty cat. I just added that sponge sugar distress oxide again again on to this die cut stitched circle. And I'm using the It's Your Birthday sentiment on a white piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to have that to the bottom. I'm going to add a few of the music notes from the collection and that will complete that card. So moving on to card number 12. Here's another example, oh sorry we're on card number 13. Here's another example of a card that is not birthday related at all. So I use the sentiment, you're the sweetest friend. That's from the Lawn Fond Sweet Friends stamp set. I really liked this candied pattern paper. So I did cut that out with the stitched um, scalloped rectangle die that I have. And then I'm using that Sunny Studio die again for my focal panel. Now this white and pink striped um, detail here is actually from the sticker sheet. And I thought that was fun to add to the bottom of my card. And I am going to add my sentiment just above that. Gives a nice backing for the sentiment so it stands out on that busy pattern paper. And then I'm going to add the two little girls here with their lollipops onto my focal panel. Just want to make sure I get them in place. So I'm going to have one tucked behind the other one. And as careful as I was trying to be, I did have it over to the right a little bit too much, but once you stick these stickers down, they are stuck and not coming up. So I left it as is, and we can move on to the next card, card number 14, which is also an example of one that is not related to birthdays at all. And I thought that this would work for a good masculine card as well. So I'm going to add this uh, plaid pattern paper to some blue cardstock, and just peeking out a little bit. Using this sketch, for some inspiration here. For all of the pattern paper, I'm going to back them on some of that bright blue cardstock from my stash. 
Just because that back pattern paper is so busy, I felt like it needed the cardstock borders so you could really see the various papers. So I'm following this sketch very closely, trying to make sure that I get these in place where they need to be. Now I am just going to add some scrap cardstock behind that orange piece of pattern paper just so that it's not dipping down. And then I can go ahead and add my little guy here with his kite onto the focal panel, which is just a stitched circle cut out of some white cardstock. And I'm going to use the Heffy Doodle Hello here as well. So perfect anytime card that I think would just brighten someone's day. And again, just adding some scrap cardstock to the top of that. And then I can go ahead and get that into place. So I'm so excited to see what Christy came up with. It'll be interesting to see if we used any of the same sketches. Oh, so fun. That's what I love about collaborations. And we really hope that you'll play along with us. So please let us know. Tag us on social media if you create cards using this collection. And also let us know if you would like to see us do another collab. So for this card, I'm using a Sketch Saturday sketch. This is also one that Christy uses. Now, I just used whatever scrap I had of this orange left, so it is not the same measurements that are noted there on this card. I don't really worry about measurements that much. I, I like having them, but I don't always follow them. So it's just a personal preference. And I think whatever you prefer is just fine. So for my focal panel here, again, using the blue and the white cardstock for my little circles. Added the little hedgehog sticker. So you can see how some of these stickers um, inspired some of my designs with these stamped images. And we're on to the final card. I love the way this card turned out, actually. So I'm using that striped rainbow colored paper with the leftover balloon pattern paper that I had from the previous card that I used this on. Or this might have been a second piece of paper, actually. And then I'm just going to add where it says sentiment goes here. I'm actually not going to put the sentiment there but I am going to use a piece of the pattern paper just to ground my image. And then I cut out two stars with my Heffy Doodle stitched star dies. And I, I didn't have a smaller size that worked or one a bit larger, so I cut them in the same size, but I think it works well. And I just used some really small scraps that I had left, so it was a good way to get that used up. I'm gonna add my little llama here just making sure I have room for the sentiment. And I'm going to use the tiny little sentiment that says happy birthday from the stamp set. And you can also stamp this into that little envelope. The one that I used in my card said you're invited, but you can use happy birthday as well. So that will be it to finish up this final card. Once I show you a close up, I will slow it down and show you all 16 cards that I made today. And don't forget to check out Christy's video. It will be linked at the end of this video and down in the description box. Again, we made a total of 50 cards to provide lots of inspiration. And even if you don't have this paper pad or the elements from this collection, use what you have in your stash, tag us, and hopefully the designs give you some inspiration. I have thoroughly enjoyed this collaboration. My voice is barely hanging on here at the end of the video, but I had a ton of fun and I hope you all did as well. So please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel or haven't yet. I'll see you down in the comments. Thanks everybody. Have a fantastic day and here's a couple more videos including Christy's video if you want to just click on it and hop over to her channel. I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye everybody.